Wow, Anna Kramling. No. Kurwa! Sorry. Oh, so bad. <sighs> okay, I have an idea. Okay, but trading is not so precise. Full black. Trading is not precise, but I have to be very fast with my bishop d3 casting now. Because e6, okay, now I have time to, to castle. The real, yeah, the real problem was e6, bishop d3, bishop d5, or queen a5. This was the biggest problem in this position. But now I do have quite a good position. Okay, she will probably play bishop e7. Now c4 is a bit premature. I have to prepare the position a bit. So h3 is a huge loss of time because she will take on h3. So probably she doesn't notice. Okay, we'll just play c a3 first in order to prevent a d4. Okay, now rook c1, I'm preparing e4. I think okay now if she plays bishop h4. Five. It does actually mean that she doesn't that she doesn't know how to play this position. If she doesn't know, I will try something very special. Okay, she doesn't know how to play this position. I will try ninety five, queen e one ninety five. Now I just have one mission, and that is not to blunder on time. Can I play c four already? No, I want my I want my Pillsbury knight. Okay, ninety seven f. Four is too aggressive, I'd like to say. Ah, oh, let's try this. In every case, it isn't a good tournament. Okay, F6. Now F6. Now F6 doesn't work for the moment. But now she has to be very careful with the G4. G4. Okay, that is probably the best line. And I wanted to sacrifice the exchange in this position, but I guess it is. Not enough. Okay, I wanted to try it. I have to try it. Probably it is just dubious, but the fact that this bishop is oh now it isn't dubious dubious anymore. Okay. But can I just play with g3? My threat is taking on g7. Knight c2, rook takes g7. And I can still take on g7 now. Uh Rook takes g7, king takes knight g3, or probably, wait, 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 let me think for a second, rook takes g7, king takes, king takes, which is forced, rook, queen g3 check, king h8, bishop takes h6, now f6, so probably I have to start with queen h4. So now after f6 I can just take with the bishop and I'm winning. Okay, probably it, okay, probably it doesn't work, but I have to try it. Ah, I can even play uh, bishop takes h6 straight away. And this is winning. King h8, this, and yeah, this win. Okay, I can play. And if you take, I play king there, queen there check, king g7, queen h7, mate. And now I'm Okay, bishop h6, king h8, queen h4, f6, I take mate, so this is completely winning. Oof! 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 Allez, come! Oh, f5. No, but I can take en passant, and there is no problem. f6 or a5 is the same. I can just take en passant, and you cannot move anything. And if you move the king, I will play check. King f7, king g7, king e8, uh, king e8, and queen takes f8. So it is completely winning, and she cannot go there because the control, the bishop can guards everything. Okay, this is a good try. Ah, rook g7. Yeah, but it doesn't work because of rook 
G8, I have queen, I have bishop G7, eight. <clears throat> and this is how you beat the wound field master. <laughs> oh yeah, what a game. Very nice game. A very, very nice game. Okay, and now I have queen G5. Uh, let's be serious for a second. Do I have queen g5? Queen g5, queen g8 bishop there. Okay, I have this one. And now I have check. You have to give away, you have to give your queen back. <clears throat> this is how you crush Anna Kremlin. <clears throat>